still to come. And what's up, Doc? We'll tell you what's up. It's the CEO of ZocDoc telling us about the business of making doctor appointments. Any type of doc you want. And matching your insurance to boot. All that and much more when Squawk in the Street returns. When we come back, the company bringing doctor's appointments to your PC and piquing the interest of some huge investors. The CEO of ZocDoc is here for an exclusive interview when we're back in two minutes. Finding a good doctor quickly is always a difficult trick, but one company is taking the pain out of that process. ZocDoc is a free service that allows patients to find doctors and make appointments instantly online. The company launched in Detroit this week, making it the 17th market to offer their services. And joining us this morning, Cyrus Masumi is the CEO of ZocDoc, which, full disclosure, before I even knew about the company, used myself trying to find an orthopedist a few months ago. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. You yourself got the idea after a ruptured eardrum, right? Correct. I was on a flight across the country. I ruptured my eardrum, needed to find a doctor. I uh, went to my insurance company website, and, and it took me four days to get an appointment. And I thought there had to be a better way for people to get access to health care. We're doing our grocery shopping online. We're doing our, our reservations on restaurants for travel online. And health care, when you need it, is one of the most important things in your life. So we thought of the idea for ZocDoc to give people access to health care when they need it. You had worked at McKinsey already, so you knew how business models were created and, uh, and generated. How has this gone relative to your expectations? It's gone great. You know, we, we were, uh, the company was founded in, in the, the, the beginnings of the financial crisis. So we spent two and a half years at a time where people thought startups would never uh, be able to raise outside capital again. And uh, we enabled us to focus on, on building a great business in one city. And we, we focused on New York for the first two and a half years. And the last two years has been about our, our nationwide rollout. As you mentioned, we're covering 17 uh, markets right now. We have a new market launch coming next week as well, which will be announced shortly. So we're, uh, we're really hoping to take ZocDoc nationwide by, by next year. By next year. And you mentioned raising capital and making announcements. Could we expect something on that front? Uh, in the next year or two? Well, you know, we, uh, we've we very recently, a few months back, raised uh, $75 million. Uh, and I think uh, in terms of right now, we're focusing on this nationwide expansion. Uh, we really don't want to get diverted from from that at all. So uh, uh, it's great it's great to have the capital and the great investors behind us to make that a reality. Yeah. There's some good symbols available down here at the big board. I'm just <laughs> letting you know this. Yeah. Um, look, we're in, a, we're in an economy where a big part of the growth engine is is Silicon Valley. Yeah. And I'm wondering if you feel that, if you think we are in the second, third, ninth inning of that as Facebook plans to come public this summer? Well, you know, I think a lot of the companies that are going public now are companies that have substantial revenue, they have business models that are vetted, uh, and they have significant scale. So uh, I think there's a lot of great opportunities for businesses that have even, even been founded yet. So I don't think it's the ninth inning by any means. Uh, there's so many, uh, you know, every day I hear of another great company that I think is going to be the next great thing. So it's uh, a lot of opportunity to go, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, that said, and I don't mean to bring up specific names, but yeah. a Groupon yeah. is, is in an area where they knew they had to get big. It clearly is not the answer to all of their problems. Yeah. So is your plan to get big fast or to manage your growth along the way, keep expenses low, and hope for the best? Well, I mean, obviously, when you have a model that works, you want it as quickly as possible because uh, what, what in the modern day of the Internet has suggested is as soon as you figure something out, there's lots of people, smart people, hardworking people, well-capitalized people who can take your model and do that in as many places as possible. I think our business uh, succeeded because of the fact that we that, that wasn't the case four years ago. That wasn't the case in 2008 in the heart of the financial crisis. But right now, you know, I think there, there is a bit of, uh, uh, you know, there's so many entrepreneurs out there. Uh, I think the statistic now for business schools is 20% of people who are graduating from business school uh, actually want to become an entrepreneur. Right. And uh, so th there's a lot of really talented people. There's a lot of uh, sophisticated investors who are willing to back them. So if you have something that works, you really need to make sure that, that you do that. But, you know, at the same time, I think one of the things that's really important for me as an entrepreneur who wants to uh, run uh, and, and, and guide this business for the rest of my natural life, yeah. it's, very, it's very important that we do have A players. And in finding great people, regardless of the economic situation, is something that's really uh, really hard, and so we we spend a lot of time recruiting. My entire management team spends 50% of our time recruiting, and we're looking for for great people. And it's really hard to find as many as you need. Right. Well, I have a feeling we've not heard the last of you, Cyrus. Hope you'll come back. Thank you. Uh, whether you're private or public at the top, Cyrus Masumi is with Zocdoc. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Keep those tweets.